Hi, I'm Michelle Asoff. I work as a director, choreographer, and as a teacher at the Broadway Dance Center in New York City. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a technique of stretching that has changed and elongated my career, as well as the career of many dancers I've trained nationally and internationally. It's called active isolated flexibility. I was trained by Jim and Phil Wharton, who are with us here today, live at Broadway Dance Center. Basically, the principles of the technique are very simple. What we're looking at now is how muscles work, how the body's designed. What I mean by that is there's a pair of muscles across each joint. The agonist works, the antagonist relaxes. If we use those simple principles of how the body functions and apply that to a warm-up program, a flexibility program, we really have learned that the joints get more flexible, we get more circulation, we prepare the muscle with oxygen delivery in there, so we reduce injury risk, we prepare the muscle for activity, and it works much better than the traditional static stressing that we've been used to for so many years. The basic principles are we only hold the position one to two seconds, we do eight to ten repetitions, we exhale during the work phase delivering oxygen in with the blood, and we repeat that movement in isolation. The key is isolation. Everybody is trying to get the edge and I think that's the key here is that for so many years this has been a secret. From Olympic athletes to dancers like Brishnikov, Nureyev at their peak, all these Broadway stars, they're all trying to get that circulatory response. As Jim said, blood and oxygen into the joints. What we've seen is recovery, being able to repeat that action again and again and again. Dance has a high rate of injury in, in medical statistics. And one of the things we've learned is that um, an injury is really a mistake in your training program but an injury can be prevented. And this is the exciting news that I think that, that what we're doing here today is bringing you know, to the dancer that if you tune into the muscles through a flexibility program and really understand the relationships between them to keep them balanced, and even though we may be externally rotated more and not internally rotated much at all in dance, knowing why muscles are restricted in some ways in relation to repetitive movements, then we can stay a little bit ahead of that game of a potential injury. You know, and when we see a performer, a dancer, we always just assume they have perfect balance because they're in the dance moment and they are, but we don't realize until we really break it down in a clinical setting that there's a lot of compensations going on if they can't quite get there with the muscles that they want to get there. Remember when we work with Judith Samuelson, Judith would say, Jim, I can get the leg up there. Right. Maybe not the way you want me to do it with the muscles you want me to do it with, but I'll get it there. And what happens is over time, duration, and intensity, certain muscles come out of balance and we set up a situation for an injury. And this is what the, the, the uh, video is about, is to prevent that kind of a thing from happening and maintain and restore the balance.